Hello gentlemen, today we are going to practice drawing a map of the Middle East. So we're going to start with our blank piece of paper and I need you to fold it in half both ways. So fold it in half the long way and fold it in half the short way and that way you get four boxes. And this map we're going to do on the landscape. And here on the board, I've recreated it. Here's the edges of my paper, and the dashed lines represent the folds. So once your paper is folded, let's get started drawing. And Middle East stand starts with an M, and that's what we're going to start with. So here's our center point. You go down and to the left, and just draw the letter M. M for Moses, M for Muhammad, M for Middle East. So from one leg of the M, we come down, out for the Horn of Africa, and back in. The Horn of Africa should cross the center line. On the other leg of your M, you come down, out, up, like three sides of a box. And then that box has a bite taken out of it. So again, from the letter M, down, out, back up, three sides of a box, and then a bite taken out of it. And then to finish on up, we just go over and down for India. And that's the bottom half of our map. It's pretty straightforward. The upper right-hand quadrant of the map is even easier. You just have kind of a peanut shape floating up there for your Caspian Sea. So now we move to the most uh, difficult part of the map. So we're going to go up here to Europe. We're going to start with the Black Sea. Sort of looks like a pretty cloud or that Xbox controller. And then you have that eyeball. And then you start, the eyeball becomes the start of the letter S, which goes out and around. So cloud, eyeball, letter S. And then from the top of that eyeball, you come over and then down for the bloody glove. So you have the thumb, and then one, two, three, four fingers, but then it's almost cut off. And it comes up and then out to finish the arm. So you have that hand hanging down there with the fingers cut off. And when a hand gets cut off, it starts to bleed. So you have all these islands all over the place, and then two bigger islands. The first is short and flat, and the second sort of shaped like a goldfish. Good. So that's our outline. But now we need to start labeling things, which is the trickier part. So now we're going to start uh, with mountains. Our first mountain you already know about. It's where Moses received the Ten Commandments. Remember, M is for Moses. So we have Mount Sinai right here in the Sinai Peninsula. Next set of mountains is between the Black Sea and the Caspian Sea. And these are called the Caucasus, C-A-U-C-A-S-U-S, -S -S, the Caucasus Mountains. And this is where we get the word Caucasian. If you're from the east side of the Caucasus Mountains, you're Asian. If you're from the west side of the Caucasus Mountains, you're Caucasian. Our last set of mountains is over here in the east. And it sort of rises up from the ocean and goes north. And these are called the Karakoram. K-A-R-A-K-O-R-U-M. These are the Karakoram Mountains. And they traditionally form the border between India and the Middle East. Okay, so those are our mountains. Next, let's do seas. So the first one we already know about, it's here in the middle of Earth, and this is the Mediterranean. Next, remember, M is for Moses, and Moses parted the Red Sea. And now we have to go learn our ABCs. A is for Aegean, A-E-G-E-A-N, the Aegean Sea. 
is where all these little islands are. A, B is for the Black Sea. A, B, and then C over here is the Caspian. So the three C's here, A, B, C. Aegean, Black, and Caspian. Two more bodies of water to know about. This little bite here into Arabia, this is rated PG-13 because it is the Persian Gulf. So the Persian Gulf is here. And then the big ocean that's east of Africa is the Indian Ocean. Good, next we're gonna do rivers in this lighter color blue. The first one you already know about, it flows out of Africa, north into the Mediterranean, has these two branches, and this is the Nile River, N-I-L-E, Nile. Then we have two rivers that both come out of the Caucasus and end up in the Persian Gulf. And they go, they start out and they're sort of shaped like a Y and then come down together. There are two of them. The first is the Euphrates. And the other is the Tigris. So the Euphrates is closer to Europe, or another way to remember it, tigers come from Asia, so tigers are closer to Asia, and if you're afraid of the tigers, the Euphrates runs away. So that you have the two rivers here. Another river comes out of the Karakoram Mountains, flows down, and in this place, we have the Indus River. And of course, the country of India, as well as the Indian Ocean, is named for the Indus River. The last river we're going to put on here is actually the smallest river of our world map, and it's shaped like a Q-tip. It has a little lake at the top, it flows south, and then it has a bigger uh, thing at the bottom. And this, Bible fans, is the Jordan River. So you have the Jordan River, which flows into the Dead Sea. And of course, the people of Israel had to cross the Jordan to get to the Promised Land. When Jesus was baptized, he was baptized in the Jordan. And the Dead Sea is actually the lowest place on land. The Dead Sea is the lowest place on earth. That's why water flows into it and doesn't leave. That's, that's why it's called the Dead Sea. One desert to know about, and it starts all the way up here and spreads throughout the entire Arabian Peninsula, and that's the Arabian Desert, where they have Arabian nights. So the Arabian Desert fills up this entire peninsula and goes all the way north up here towards uh, the upper part of the Middle East. That's our one desert. We have two islands. The first is the short flat one here. This is the island of Crete. C-R-E-T-E, -E, Crete. And the other goldfish-shaped island is Cyprus. C-Y-P-R-U-S, so Crete and Cyprus. And they're in alphabetical order. C-R comes before C-Y. Last but not least is all of our cities. So there's the one we already had on our map, the north end of the Nile River is the city of Alexandria. Here in the hand, up in the mountains, is the city of Sparta, S-P-A-R-T-A. -A. And right next to Sparta is their frenemy, Right here in the thumb is Athens, A-T-H-E-N-S. So Sparta and Athens are right next door to each other. And as we'll learn, sometimes they're friends and sometimes they go to war with each other. So that's why I call them frenemies. 
Here, where the Black Sea uh, meets this other body of water, the Black Sea, Europe is on this side, Asia is on this side, is the ancient city of Constantinople. But Constantinople's new name is Istanbul. Istanbul was Constantinople, now it's Istanbul, not Constantinople. So if you had a date in Constantinople, she'll be waiting in Istanbul. So two names, same city. Few more cities to put on here. Here in the Holy Land, between the Jordan River and the Mediterranean, we have the holy city of Jerusalem. J-E-R-U-S-A-L-E-M, Jerusalem. We go north from Jerusalem, and we have the city of Damascus, which is the, city, the capital of Syria, which is having so much strife right now. We continue along into the, the valley between these two rivers. We have the city of Baghdad. And Baghdad is the capital of Iraq, where uh, the U.S. has had troops uh, since 2002. And then here in the Arabian Desert, somewhat near the Red Sea, you have the holy city of Islam, which is called Mecca. And that's where the prophet Muhammad was from. So remember, M stands for Moses, but M also stands for Muhammad and Mecca, right here in the Middle East. Two more cities and then we're done. The first is here, south of the Caspian Sea, and that's the city of Tehran, which is the capital of the country Iran, or used to be known as Persia, hence the Persian Gulf. And the last city to know about is up here in the Karakoram Mountains, and that's the city of Kabul. K-A-B-U-L, Kabul, which is the capital of Afghanistan. Uh, again, we've been at war there uh, since about 2002, uh, so it's important for us to know our Middle Eastern geography. So there you go, my friends. This is your map of the Middle East. Uh, the outline is worth 10 points, and 15 of these 30 items will be on the map, map quiz. So good luck studying. I hope you enjoyed this video.